of its friends, maybe you remember this pattern of mine because I've made a tutorial about this pattern. It's a pattern with the cubic right angle weave technique and this cubic right angle weave technique is composed by two rows. I've made a tutorial about this pattern using some pictures but many of you told me that maybe the tutorial was not clear enough. So since I'm working on exactly the same pattern, exactly the same, I've just changed the color, I've decided to make a second version of the tutorial where you can see all the steps by a video and not by pictures. So I hope that it will help you. You can use this pattern to create all the things that I'm doing in the last few days. So the Celtic knot, uh, the star, the ankh, all the things that I have done in the last several days. But if you need some more specific information about the cubic right angle weave uh, pattern, you can watch another tutorial of mine that, it, that is more specific. And um, I will leave you the link of this tutorial in the description box under the video. So for now that's all, thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye! To create this pattern you will need some needles, size 10 or 12 and bead weaving thread. Then you will need two colors of size 11 seed beads. And you will also need two colors, the same colors of size 15 seed beads. Pick up four bronze size 11 seed beads and carry all the beads to the end of the thread. Then sew through the first bead to close the work in a round. Pick up three more bronze size 11 and sew through the bead you are starting from. This is the starting point of our beadwork. As you can see we have two squares, the first one and the second one, with one side in common. This bead is the side in common between the two squares. Now to be more comfortable I will proceed with the tutorial using this beadwork in here because in this way I can handle better the beadwork between my hands. But as you can see we are starting from the same point. The starting point is this one, two squares, okay, with one side in common, and here we have the same situation. The first square is in here, the second one, they are all bronze seed beads, size 11 seed beads, and we have one side in common between the two squares. The first thing to do is picking up this sequence composed by three size 11 seed beads, and then sew through the central seed bead you were starting from. Now, without adding any new bead, sew through the bead on the side in here. Pick up two more size 11 and sew through the turquoise bead in here and the bead you were starting from. Now pick up a size 15 seed bead and sew through the next size 11. Pick up two bronze size 11 and sew through the two size 11 on the beadwork. Pick up a size 15 and sew through the next two size 11, the bronze one and the turquoise one, in this way. Now this square is almost completed, we miss only one bead. So I pick up a turquoise size 11 and I sew through the two bronze seed beads in here. Pick up a size 15 and I sew through the next bronze seed bead. I pick up two more size 11 and I sew through the turquoise bead and the bronze bead, the bronze bead I'm starting from. As you can imagine I pick up a size 15 and I sew through the next size 11.
Then I pick up two more sides 11 and I sew through the two sides 11 on the beadwork in this way. Again, I pick up a size 15 and I sew through the next two beads, the bronze bead and the turquoise one. The last step of the round is picking up a turquoise size 11 and then sew through the two bronze sides 11 in here, in this way. Now we have to fill this empty space in here, so pick up a size 15 and sew through the next size 11. To be ready to start another round you have to go outside the central bead in here, so I sew through this bead here on the side. Then I sew through the turquoise bead and the bronze bead in the middle. Again I pick up this sequence composed by three size 11 seed beads and I sew through the bead I'm starting from. Without adding any new bead, I sew through this turquoise bead here on the side. I pick up two bronze sides 11 and I sew through the two turquoise beads on the beadwork. I pick up a size 15 and I sew through the next size 11. Again I pick up two size 11 and I sew through the two bronze size 11 beads on the beadwork. We are on the corner, so again I pick up a size 15 and then I sew through the next two turquoise beads. Then I pick up a bronze size 11 and I sew through these two size 11 in here. I pick up a turquoise size 15 and I sew through the next size 11. Then I pick up two bronze size 11 and I sew through the two turquoise beads. I am on the corner so I pick up a size 15 and I sew through the next size 11. Then I pick up two more size 11 and I sew through the two size 11 on the beadwork. We are on the corner, so a size 15 on the needle and then sew through the next two seed beads. Now pick up a bronze size 11 seed bead and sew through the bronze seed bead here on the side and the turquoise bead. The last step is to fill this empty space here in the middle. So I pick up a turquoise size 15 and then I sew through the next turquoise size 11. To be ready to start a new round I have to go outside from this bead here in the middle. So I sew through the bronze bead on the side and then I sew through these two beads in here and in this way I'm ready to start a new round and as you can see 
we are at the situation we have at the beginning. We have two squares with bronze beads and these two squares have one bead in common. So at this point you have to repeat the same steps from the very beginning to get another turquoise flower on your beadwork, okay? I hope that every step was clear. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!